All right, welcome back to part two of making this kind of modular sci-fi wall within plasticity. I don't like this and, and it's not working because this isn't connecting. So I'm going to grab these and I'm just going to push them out until they kind of snap together. Like so. We'll still have that kind of dip, but I think that actually could be quite interesting because we can maybe, maybe put some details coming out of that. And I think that could look quite cool. So, again, I'm just kind of testing things out. There's nothing too specific what I'm doing with this one. I'm going to grab I'm going to grab this face here. I'm going to press Shift D, and then I'll grab these two points on the sheet, or grab this edge. Actually, I'll, I'll hide everything. So hide, 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 hide. Grab this edge G. Oh, I can't. I can I move that in like so. Let me show everything again just so I can see what, what's happening with it. Yeah, and I'm going to press G and move the whole thing over to the side here a little bit. So it's right in between these. I'm going to press 1. I'm going to grab, grab that sheet. If there's an isolate button, that would be really cool. I don't know if there is, but uh, okay. So that sheet can't won't work like that. I don't think. Uh, let's see. If I duplicate this and move this down like so, then I can grab these these edges. Press L and s just say G zero G zero. Okay. And then grab all of them, press J, which turns it into solid. And it looks like that. I press 2, sets X ray mode, select this edge, select this edge, and I'm just going to give them strong bevel like that. That looks alright. I can maybe. Well, I can do that after, test it out. So I'm going to press S, I'm just going to... Actually, I'll be fine. So what I'll do is I will grab this object. I'll create a curve first. Use my curver right tool again. Go from this D here to here. And grab my solid. Press F, type in array, curve array, select that curve. And then I can reduce the number to something like that. And I think that's perfect. Press OK. Don't need this one. Then I can grab this one. Press Q, select these. And is it Shift E to intersect? Actually, no. Shift Q to slice. Actually, W for difference. I'll just do the difference of it, like so. And it looks like that, which is working pretty well. I'll grab these and I'll just pull them out because I don't want it to be too extreme. Something like that will do. I'll grab this and grab this and I'll press QQ so they're part of the same one. Like that, and and I'll kind of create a. Just want to see what this does if I give that a fillet. What is that doing? She looks quite interesting there, but no, nah, I'm not going to do that. Maybe that'll, that'll be fine like that. I will grab these though and give them a fillet. So, so Alt Shift selects edge loops. Just a small one like so. 
actually I don't like this little thing I'm gonna get rid of it so to get rid of that I can simply just go into face mode select these faces pull them out okay so as soon as I pull it out it jumps up to there which actually works alright let's see Yeah, that's working pretty cool. It's looking decent. I'm gonna grab these three. I'm gonna press O. I'm just gonna offset them a little bit and see what I can get out of it. So let me see if I grab these and push them back. What sort of effect I get? about these that looks pretty interesting I'm going to go into s my side view I'm going to create like a little tube that goes through here I want it to be exactly that size but I'll be alright. And then I'll press uh, free, select it, and just pull that out. Like so, until it. I think I'll fix this in Maya. Because I don't know how to snap things exactly to that edge. If there's a way of doing that, I would really appreciate if anyone knows how I could make sure that it snaps exactly on that edge that would be really cool I could just like grab that edge and cut this I suppose like if I go out and I grab this edge here so control shift grab that shift D to duplicate that so I don't want the sheet I just want that edge and then I can grab the solid press C and select that curve and right click Oh. Press C, select that curve, right click. Did that not cut it there? Oh, because it's that curve there. Let me just control Z that. I'll just do it in Maya. I think it'll probably be better. I'm totally figure out how to do it inside of this really cool program. Cool, so that's looking pretty decent. Uh, so we can put some more details in. I have to think out, think about what kind of panels I can do and so on. I'm gonna press QQ, bring those together, switch up X-ray mode, and have a think about this. So if I grab this whole thing, grab these three, press J, no, I have to bullion them together to be... Just so I can see what that will look like. I think this specific thing isn't working. So shift that. Why do I have so many solids? All right, that, that, that. I accidentally duplicated some of these. Yeah. Let's see, I have three. So just cut out that middle one because I was repeating too much and I think that kind of detracts from it. Have to be careful with like repetition and also like a uh, so for like sci-fi design you kind of want to stick to like a 70 uh, or 60 30 10 rule so you have 60 kind of large shapes and then 
30 medium shapes and then 10 small 10 percent small shapes and also with the curves you don't want too many angles so let me just look at my angles here so do you have like this one so I think this specific piece here I go I want to mimic that angle so it'd be like that to mimic that angle And then I have this one making this angle and this angle, which is good. This here, I could actually that'll be fine. This piece here is almost like a inverted. This is like parallel to this, so that's kind of working okay. This part, that's that. Angle there, straight. It's a bit noisy there. Oh well. All right, so let's do some paneling here. I think we could start with that. Um, so I'll grab my line tool here, and I'll do like something like. That, grab these S G mm. actually I'll delete that. Let's start it over again. I'm gonna create some semi curves here, like to get some interesting shapes. So I'm gonna go like maybe from here to here, do something like that. Then I can create a curve that goes from the middle here to here. Up. something along those lines I can create a curve here and just have that go up like so press my trim tool trim that trim that select it pull it in like that Delete these curves. Select that. Shift D. Move it over. Again, I don't. I wouldn't know what the best way would be to get like this perfect in the perfect position, but oh well. Something like that. Then I can select this, uh, because these are intersecting, I can select these two Q and I'll compress sh Shift Q that will slice it. And then I can delete these two and we'll get these nice kind of faces here that we should be able to just push back. Not too much though, for some reason. Oh, okay, what did I do? No. Let me just press O.
That looks pretty cool. And I'll go into my side view here and I'll just create like a little center circle. Select it, push that in, right click, shift D, move that over, again don't know what would be the best way to center that perfectly, but see it's centered with this but it's not centered with that because I messed up last time, but oh well, curve, delete that curve. I'm going to grab these two faces and I'm going to pull them out I'm going to face mode and I'll select this and then select these two press Q shift Q to slice and I can delete these two well that didn't actually sli slice it the way I wanted it to, never mind so we select you actually select these two and move them down a touch. Oh, I already did the slice. There we go, so now I should just be able to move them down. And select this, and then press Q, select these two. And let's see. Could union them together actually and then push them back. Select the edges here. Give them I'll fill it like that. And select the faces and push them in. Oh, extrude them. I can't extrude them in. I can't push them in. Oh, okay. Offset them and then push them in. So offset. Just a very small thing like that. There we go. And then grab these two and push them in create like a bolt of some sort and grab these two edges and give them a little bevel cool looks interesting and then I can grab this face and I'm going to offset this and push that in grab so shift alt to select edge loops even though that it's not treating it like an edge loop at the moment oh I was still selecting that face So control alt <laughs> I don't like that. I think it'll end up too semi. I have to think of something else to do for that. What I'll do is I'll create a sphere here. Oh, that will actually instantly cut the hole in. Uh, rectangle, corner rectangle then, or center rectangle. Find that center point, and I'm just gonna cut like that. 
uh, go into face point mode, select all of them, press B and just kind of give them a nice rounded tip. Select it, pull it out, G, move it in. And I can duplicate it, move it over to about here, duplicate that, move duplicate that and move it over to about there as well like so then I can grab these and I want to I want to leave some empty space right so I don't want too much detail so I'm going to leave some empty space here I'm going to select this, I'm going to press Q, then select these three, right click. And then I can go into my control shift, click these out outer edges. So, sorry, shift alt. And give them a little thing like that. I haven't been looking much at reference because I've just been trying out things, but I guess the thing with Fallout, this isn't going to be very Fallout looking because Fallout does stick to very blocky kind of shapes. Um, they don't use, they do have like obviously curvature in certain places, but they do stick to very kind of squared off shapes. We'll make a um, like a pillar. Well, it's not exactly a pillar, but it's like kind of divider. Not for every single wall, but like every now and then, just to break off, to break up the seamness of it. We can just add a divider, and then the roof. Make it in this separate video as well. So. I guess I could create, uh, let me just see what I can do with these. This part at the bottom is looking at quite plain. So I'll have to think about what I can do with that, and then here as well. What I'll do actually is I'll go into side view, and I want to, with this bottom piece, I'll create like some holes. Maybe a border. Um, yeah. I'll create a border, so I'll go from the side, grab two lines, cut, and another one, and cut, like so, uh, face mode, select this, select, press C, select these two, right click, and we'll be left with this, and I can grab this and just push that in. Grab these two curves, delete them. I want to make a grid that I can whack on here. Um, a grid or some sort of. See if there's anything I can maybe try and replicate. Again, a lot of the stuff was, would just be done with textures anyway. Do like that detail or that actually? That's quite nice. So I'll try and do that actually. Yeah. So to do that, I'll go into I'll create a um, a Chris sphere here. Right click. Go into my edge mode, I'm just going to cut that sphere in half, so I'll go right click, C, select that, right click, grab this, move that down. 
so. Right click, go out, delete that curve, select these two, press L, G0, G0, okay. Right click, and select this J, Q, Q. Oh, okay, I need to make this a solid, so I need to go to edge mode, grab these, and say patch holes. Then or grab this and this and this patch hole. Yeah. Grab these patch hole. Then I can grab all of these solids here, QQ, right click. And we got one single solid which I can now use little capsule. pop this in place here. Press S, scale it down. Oh. S, scale that down to something like something like that. Move over here. Right click, draw a line that goes from this point to the end of it. Right click, then object mode, select this, press F, radial, not radial, array, curve array, select the curve. And I think I'll do more than that. Something like that. Right click, delete this last one. And select this and press Q and select all of these. Right click. I think now if we go into this view and I just go into edge selection and just select all of these edges except for these two. Control select these. Or maybe it's in face selection actually. I see face selection. Select all of these faces and then shift control click to deselect these. And see. Ooh, okay. I can control. You can get some really cool effects with this sort of stuff. So I can now scale this up and make it match that. Looks pretty cool. Object mode. Select dot 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 QQ. Edge mode. I can select these two. Or actually, I can sh select all of these. Don't want anything too big. Like that. Face selection. Let me just see what offset does here.
No, I don't want that. That's fine. Cool. That's starting to look pretty decent. There's probably a bunch of things I could still do to kind of improve that. But, uh, yeah, it's not looking too bad. Need to delete that curve. I'm just going to give all of these edges some fillets and stuff. Just small ones, just so they're not completely sharp. This sort of face here looks a bit, I could put more detail into that specific area. Um, so what I can do for that actually is I can grab a my line tool, just do from here to like, to like here, 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 close that off point, grab that, G, move that out a little tiny bit, something like that, grab this face, push that, grab this face, push that out, something like that, move it in, S, push it out a bit more. Right click, delete that curve. I'm going to draw another curve that goes from this point to this point. Right click, select that, press F array, curve array, select that. Uh, I don't want 10, I want a bit less, something along those lines. every second one. No, that's fine. And then I can select this and then press Q, select all of these. And I want to do the intersect or the slice shift Q, which will slice that. Then I could delete these. Delete that curve. And then it, this gives us a whole object here that we could actually remove. But we get this face here now. we can push in and create some interesting shapes. Maybe something like that. Edge mode, hold over this edge. If I hold control shift or shift. I just go into object mode and see what this is. So if I select all of these and then the big one in Q, Q, there we go. Shift, Alt, uh, you can't. Alright, so let me just select these. Or actually, can I grab these and push them up? What will that do? Yeah, that's good. I'll break that line. So a good thing to do is like break up lines. Like if you have like a straight line and you see the details starting from this line, having it just come out a tiny bit from that line can sometimes make a big difference. Uh, then it's too sharp. Maybe just a tiny bit. If I extrude that upwards, what will that do? It actually cuts it like that. That's perfect, actually. Nice. 
nice. Gonna grab all of these. They don't let it doesn't let me actually fill it them for some reason. Can I fill these? Yeah, I can't. So we try that instead. See if so. like this too much. Maybe like that. But yeah, that's uh I'll leave it for this in this video. So we got kind of a good kind of decent looking uh sci fi wall kind of modular wall. So I think I'm going to leave it like this for now, I'm just going to import it into Unreal next video and then let's see what I can get out of it. Um, and see how well it's tiling and so on. But yeah, thanks guys.